So the Monster Hunter Wilds beta has released, and with it, some of the weapon changes that they've come up with for this new game. I like a lot of them. I like a lot, a lot of them. But there are some I am on the fence about currently, and I'll have to get my hands on the full game probably before I make a definitive decision. But off the cuff, I wanted to talk about my three favorite and three least favorite changes that I am seeing in the Monster Hunter Wilds beta. First off, we're gonna do my third least favorite thing, which I was originally going to put as not being able to backstep out of a just a raw shield with sword and shield, but um, it turns out you can. It turns out you can, it just doesn't show up in the uh, top right under the like commands thing, but you can just input back and B or circle like you would in the other games and you will get the back step. So instead, I'm going to say that it, there's still no oils back. Capcom, where are the oils? Everybody loved oils for Sword and Shield, what the hell? My third favorite thing is going to be the change that they made to dual blades to add in extensions to the blade flurry. So instead of just pressing Y and B and doing your like demon flurry, you instead get a combo of up to three demon flurries and, or sorry, blade flurries and two demon flurries, and you can chain them together by going blade flurry, demon flurry, blade flurry, demon flurry, fur, flurry, blade flurry, uh, for like a five hit string that's super long. And it's really, really cool looking and I love it a lot. Now my second least favorite thing is probably going to be the change they did to the charge blade. Unfortunately, you can no longer go into Savage Axe slash pizza cutter mode by pressing left trigger during a super amped elemental discharge. This is a bummer because I love Savage Axe. I think it's the coolest thing that has happened to the charge blade like ever. And now the only ways to go into it that I'm aware of are doing like a focus mode finisher or getting a perfect guard and going into it that way. It is pretty cool, and I think the changes they made to Savage Axe by making it last longer and giving like a hit stun kind of effect where you can pizza cutter the boss a ton by holding Y is really, really cool. And I think it absolutely does make up for it being more difficult to go into, but I'm still a little bummed. Now my second favorite thing is probably going to have to be the extensions on the sword mode of the Switch Axe. If you haven't seen yet, if you are finishing a B combo or you're finishing an elemental discharge, you have an option to go into a new elemental finisher thing. And if you have your sword bar all the way charged up, you can hold it for a super powered version. This is really, really cool because it no longer means that just popping an elemental discharge is going to be your like finisher for every single string. You can go into this instead and it looks awesome and it's great. So I have no qualms with it whatsoever. I'm excited to play more Switch Axe. Now for my absolute least favorite change in Monster Hunter Wilds, this is kind of a weird one, but with Insect Glaive, grabbing the red Kinesect extract from monsters no longer extends your combos. You unfortunately need all three different extracts in order to get your moveset upgrade. This is on the whole, probably not a huge change and won't affect many, if all people. I think most people just go for the triple buff before they start doing damage with Insect Glaive. But this is a bummer for monsters that are kind of difficult to get one of the extracts on. An example for this is in Monster Hunter World, Seething Basil Goose, getting the orange extract is kind of difficult. And so a lot of times I would just grab the red and the white extract and I would still have the moveset extensions that make it really cool. Now, unfortunately, you have to spend all your time making sure you get all three buffs, which just kind of makes Insect Glaive a little bit sluggish, but it also, I don't know, makes very clear like this is your DPS phase and this is your not DPS phase, which is maybe what they're going for for Insect Glaive. I'm probably not going to end up minding this change too much, but on the surface, it just feels a little weird to me. Oh, but that's not even the worst part of Insect Glaive. Turns out they took away the spin that launches you back up into the air when you're doing aerial attacks with Insect Glaive, so you can't kind of chain staying up in the air anymore and doing cool aerial stuff, which is a huge bummer, because, I mean, that's Insect Glaive's identity, is jumping and doing cool air stuff. I don't know what they were thinking. I'm not an Insect Glaive player, but from the Insect Glaive players I've talked to, it's not a great change. 
Now my absolute favorite change in Monster Hunter Wilds is going to be the moveset upgrade that you get with Longsword when you get to Red Spirit Charge. Now this is really, really cool because once you get to Red Charge, it feels like you're in your DPS mode, which is really, really awesome. You get upgrades on all of your Y abilities, your Force Light, Sight, Slash changes. I am really, I don't know how to speak, I am so sorry. And it's super cool, it's really, really awesome, and building up charge is never too hard now that they've added the EIE Slash, which just gives you Spirit Charge Regen, which is really, really cool. So overall, this is an awesome change, and I think it mixes up Longsword to make it an even better, the best weapon. I think Capcom has uh, kind of considered Longsword their secret love child for a little bit, as much as they love to put Great Sword on the poster and in the opening cutscenes and stuff. It feels like Longsword has been incredibly buffed in every game that has come out since, like, Try. So. It's very cool to see it get even better if you're a longsword player. Downside is this is almost going to guarantee we're going to have to run at least one point of flinch free for all the longsword players that are just swiping at everybody's legs in multiplayer. 